right, so we're going to make this out of burlap because it's a really nice burlap. It's dark brown and has some nice golden flecks in it, which elevates it from the regular burlap. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to do this entirely without a sewing machine. And we're only going to use hand stitching to be decorative. One of the reasons that you can make this folder with burlap is because we're going to use a material called fusible webbing that's going to serve as a liner. And the other reason we're going to do it, we're using burlap, is because you can pull additional single threads out of the burlap. And I've placed this pin to show where I'm going to pull the thread. This pin is has picked up one of the threads in the burlap and I'm going to pull out that entire thread out of the weave. So I'm going to use this to start the thread. See now the thread has started to lift up. Mm -hmm. You can see it if I do this. And I'm going to grab the thread and ease it out. And it's gone. Now. I need to see, you can sort of see where it is, but I'm going to do this again right next to it because I'm, and if I, if you put something white underneath it, you can see where the, the thread mm -hmm. was taken out. Right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one out right next to it because I'm going to run two threads in its place. So now these threads are out and I'm going to replace it with one of these embroidery threads. This is the regular embroidery cotton and I've chosen the orange one to use first. And I'm going to pick up the piece and I'm going to weave it in and out. Now, you're not being perfect about which threads you're going in and out of. You're skipping some. I'm I like long that. past perfect. I'm really <laughs> long past perfect. So what you want to do, in fact, is if it were completely perfect, you would not see enough of the beautiful embroidery thread, and you want to see that fully. So we're going to pull this through, and there's going to be fewer underneaths and more on top of so that you can see the thread. It works pretty quickly since we're not weaving it exactly like it was. Yeah, that has a really nice pop of color. It goes nicely against the gold. It does. It works really beautifully and it's easy to do. It's something that you, again, that you can do with a class. I have done it with a class mm -hmm. and the effects are always, can we make placemats out of this? Yeah. And the answer is yes, that's how I learned this technique. My mother taught me this thread pulling technique by making endless placemats out of them. And we didn't use burlap. We used a, a fabric that was made out of cotton. Also, the threads came out fairly easily. But in my mother's day, we ironed everything. <laughs> so they had to be fabrics that you could wash and iron. So now there's an interesting piece of this. I have this thread in here. And if I pull it very gently, I could pull it back out again. But I don't want to do that. This makes an interesting pattern. So now what are you going to do with these ends? I'm going to, make... to leave them okay. right now because when we put the edging in, they're going to be caught in the fusible webbing okay. and they're going to be sealed in. But you could run another thread next to it. If you'll remember, I pulled out two. Mm -hmm. So you could take another thread as I did in this Here. one. Got the green, is that green? I got a gray green and I put it next to one of the rusts. And you can see that it, you can pull the threads lengthwise or crosswise, and they make a really interesting pattern.